If you want to know what is a protein sparing modified fast or PSMF, then check out this video. I'm going to tell you how to do the protein sparing modified fast safely and effectively. The protein sparing modified fast was invented in the 1970s to treat obese patients or people with type 2 diabetes. Basically, you're going to be eating low carb, low fat and primarily protein at a severe caloric deficit for a certain period of time usually for either a few days, several weeks in a row, or in some cases over the course of months. <laughs> it's also used amongst bodybuilders and fitness competitors to really dial down their body fat during contest prep. The idea is that by reducing your carbs, you're gonna shift into ketosis, which helps you with the mobilization of your body fat. Reducing the fat intake will drastically lower the overall caloric consumption of the day. Keeping the protein high is supposed to protect you against muscle catabolism and maintain lean muscle mass. How much protein to eat on a protein sparing modified fast depends on your lean body mass and activity levels. Clinical patients get about 1.2 to 1.5 grams per kilogram of lean body weight in protein, which equates to about 0.6 to 0.8 grams per pound. Physically active people who exercise can increase their protein up to 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight to prevent additional muscle loss. You can eat about 20 to 50 grams of carbs a day, which would come from low carb foods. Additional fat on the protein sparing modified fast isn't prescribed nor advised, although it's not gonna negate the benefits of the diet. You'll just end up eating more calories. Basically, you're gonna be eating only lean protein like chicken breast, cod, whitefish, egg whites, and maybe a few pieces of broccoli. That doesn't sound like a really good way of eating, and not very enjoyable either. Which is why the protein sparing modified fast usually lasts for a short period of time, followed up by proper refeeds. But at the same time, it is very effective in losing weight quite rapidly. Compared to other low calorie diets, People on the protein sparing modified fast lose more weight initially, 12% versus 2%. However, the results will even out after a year. Unfortunately, there's also the potential danger for rebounding and regaining your weight after exiting the protein sparing modified fast. Most patients regain more than 50% of their weight 2 to 3 years after the protein sparing modified fast. One study found that 5 years after a very low calorie diet, almost every participant had regained their weight. Refeeding syndrome is a term that describes massive binge eating after dieting or fasting. The body makes you so ravenous that you want to eat everything in sight because of being deprived from nutrients for so long. To prevent refeeding, you want to get enough sodium and other minerals during the fasting phase. That's why you should take a multivitamin as well as increase your sodium intake slightly. Take some magnesium. It's also a good idea to have some refeeds with higher caloric intake at least every week or two to keep your metabolism up. To keep your weight off for the long term after exiting the fast, then you have to simply change your relationship with food. This should include moderation in portion size, mindful eating, not eating processed foods, and practicing some time restricted feeding. Snacky snack. Although the protein sparing modified fast is done to preserve muscle during severe caloric restriction, it may still end up making you lose a bit of extra muscle mass. The term rabbit starvation describes a situation where your body ends up severely malnourished and weakened because of not getting enough essential nutrients. It was coined by hunters and explorers who got very sick during hunting trips when they ate nothing but rabbits. Rabbit is very lean with little to no fat. Rabbit starvation tends to happen in people who are already lower body fat and don't have much weight to lose. Overweight individuals don't need to be eating a lot of extra fat in their diet because their body is already high fat. Eating a very low calorie diet with low carbs, low fats and high protein can make you extremely hungry and crave for additional food. Too much protein can also kick you out of ketosis, which will cause gluconeogenesis of your own muscle tissue. That's why a ketogenic protein sparing modified fast that still eliminates all carbs but increases your fat intake slightly and keeping protein moderate can be much more effective. It will prevent hunger as well as maintain more muscle mass because you're gonna stay in ketosis. To prevent any hyperglycemia and hunger cravings, it will be actually better to keep protein slightly moderate 
and stay somewhere around 0.7 to 1.0 grams per pound of body weight. On a ketogenic protein sparing modified fast, you'd eat very little low carb vegetables, moderate protein, and just a little bit of extra fat. You definitely don't want to be adding extra butters and oils because they're simply gonna ramp up the calories. Instead, eat some fattier chunks of meat like steak, chicken thighs, whole eggs, salmon, or beef. Your daily calories should still stay under 1000 for the fasting to be effective. But simply making the macronutrient ratio slightly more ketogenic will maintain your hormones and metabolism a lot more. If you were to focus on eating nutrient-dense whole foods that have lower calories, yet they promote high satiety, then you'll be able to maintain caloric maintenance and weight balance very easily without even feeling that you're starving. Starving. For even faster weight loss, then you can also do extended water fasting with zero calories altogether and you're gonna achieve the weight loss faster. However, you can't fast all the time, which is why the ketogenic protein sparing modified fast is a great way to keep the fat loss sustainable. You just have to make sure that you're not gonna rebound after you stop dieting and stop fasting. If you want to know how to start intermittent fasting on any kind of diet, then check out my free guide to intermittent fasting ebook. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. By practically, you mean not really.